Welcome guys to another episode of Boomerang. Today we're gonna be playing with three gunners because by analyzing my channel for a quite a while I've realized very bizarre trend. Even though I'm not like a super good player uh, of a three gunners, every time I upload it I got like insane amount of views. So let's just check my hypothesis and yeah I'm gonna just be playing three gunners here. Like you see it's a bridge spam deck so it uh, shouldn't be like uh, too hard to uh, explain the macro. You basically just play cheap cards, uh, and then you play pumps, and then uh, when you have enough pumps to overwhelm your pump, you just play three gunners and win. So that's gonna be uh, the way how my deck will work. Here I had to like come up with some creative defense, but once my opponent will allow me to pump, I'm gonna pump and basically be chilling. I think my opponent plays a default deck, even though he has a 2 mails, I think he didn't have enough time for himself to find the perfect deck for him. I'm gonna actually try to stop it, but not perfectly, like I don't have a need to perfectly stop it, just this drunker and that was absolutely enough. So from what I've seen so far, he actually has like some cards that he substituted, so yeah. First of all, he has Dark Knight, that should have noted it way earlier. But better now than never. These runners actually will survive and uh, they will perish to a Skeleton Horde, another card that was different than a default deck. Like, <clears throat> right now, my deck recognition isn't like perfect, but it's good enough. And right now, we are just setting up the, the second pump, setting for a very advantageous double mana time for us. And here we go, we're gonna just... Okay, he's gonna actually play a Drunker Loom. I'm gonna play three gunners against it, try to take this uh, balloon down. I'm gonna get a Twins uh, on this side. And I would love to get the runners on the opposite side. I'm gonna actually get it because pumps were just uh, on time with giving me mana. And right now I just basically spam the... Uh, the right side because uh, the left side was having a bomb skeleton on it and uh, there's no really uh, much I can do about the bomb skeleton except like uh, get the upper, get the two gunners to take it and on the left side I had absolute freedom and I absolutely took it so that's gonna be the game for you right here uh, yeah I don't think I have to leave any comment GG's well played let's jump to the game number two and in the game number two, we're gonna be facing Jonathan Pork, which is weird name by itself, but I'm not gonna judge my opponent by that. I'm gonna get a heal tiny on a fifth just to be more annoying. Always good to see that. I'm gonna play a mana collector in between of the towers because I still have no uh, clarification of whether my opponent has missile or not. And basically, if you put a uh, Mana Collector behind the missile, you're basically giving your opponent uh, an equal trait as well as 400 damage and that's definitely not something I would love to do. I would love to play a thief on these archers though and get a heal and get a counter push and get a pump if he doesn't respawn correctly and if he didn't respawn correctly against three gunners you have to be as aggro as possible at all times. So you force me play cards. <coughs> And not pumps. I'm gonna play actually three gunners already. I think I have enough of a mana advantage. That's gonna be already hard for him to defend. He's throwing a uh, bullet, which is, I think, a correct call, but mm, it might be uh, already too late for him to come back to this game. Runners are going down the town, and there's no, absolutely nothing he can do. I'm gonna get a fifth with one gunner, I'm gonna get a tank edge for two gunners, or at least one uh, gunner on the right side. We're gonna obviously ravage the viking tower and... I just barely won't be able to 3-star this guy unless he lets uh, this uh, remaining troops go. He even tries to defend, but uh, he should have aimed at the gunner, honestly. And yeah, that's gonna be the game number two, very quick, once again, once I get pumps. It was all over again, so let's jump to the game number 3. And in this game we're gonna be facing Toby, so... Uh, Toby has 1000 mils, almost 1100. I think that's a decent score to say that Toby kinda knows what he's doing in this game. Yet, 
he starts with a steel hammer so here i'm gonna actually gamble against toby i bet he doesn't have a missile he replaced flying bomb which also brings a gives a uh, neutral mana trade but uh, okay he's gonna actually playing balloon so that's gonna be annoying i would love to get these three gunners earlier but i'll be forced to take one hit he didn't even need that blitz i'm gonna get eight wins with a one gunner i'm gonna swiftly get a heal tiny and basically try to get some serious damage and the serious damage i get because this uh, skeleton hut disappears in the seconds this helicopter disappears as well and as a bonus i get the left side tower beautiful stuff to begin with my opponent just got too aggressive for his own good and he definitely paid for it in a manner of a tower so <clears throat> we're gonna be actually pumping here and if he goes again i'm gonna just go for three gunners and try to do the same trick so following that uh, logic he shouldn't be going in very smart right this pump is kind of safe right now now i have three gunners in hand obviously i don't want to get rid of them mindlessly because once i do he's gonna be having a free uh, balloon to be played i'm gonna go for runners and yeah actually my opponent just gives up I don't blame him, he got absolutely counter pushed and yeah that was uh, all over already anyway, GG well played, let's take 4 and go to the next game. And we have another opponent, he's gonna be called XOXLAM uh, and the word I cannot pronounce unfortunately and uh, yeah, with some medals player. Playing very aggressively, honestly. I don't think that was a right call. I'm gonna try to instantly punish him with playing uh, very aggressive runners. And this foam cake wasn't necessary, but it adds pressure and it's definitely the way to go. He calls me noob because I went for runners at the bridge. But I think it's only fair to say that playing missile at the twins in the back is even dumber. I just went for the best play in the position. And absolutely worked out. Also, my plan was never to play runners at the bridge unless uh, you force me to do so. My plan was to play mana collectors and pretty much invest in stocks. And as far as I'm concerned, while playing runners at the bridge isn't socially accepted, playing, uh, <coughs> playing on stock market is absolutely seen as a good thing in society and thus. I'm gonna continue with my plan and win the games since my opponent just gave up and that's gonna be another short one. I almost feel like cutting it out but yeah let, let's just leave it and jump to the next game. And another one would be against... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce these names. Eoxa? Trioxa? I don't know. I'm gonna uh, play Ghost in the back because it's pretty safe play, he plays a Dark Knight on the opposite side, so I'm gonna just put a Pell to the Mel, try to get something done here. I'm actually Thief will connect to the tower, so that's gonna be a very cute move to see. I'm gonna get a lot of damage, force out some Phone Horde on the opposite side, I don't even have to react to that, and I think I'm gonna proceed not to. Since not reacting to that, we're gonna give me... Uh, very cool thing which is momentum right now i can pretty much decide what i'm gonna do he plays a phone keg for which i'm gonna react he plays a rolling still against this footman which is definitely a mistake he's wasting a lot of mana to not threaten my tower at all honestly i'm gonna play ghost my guess is that my opponent is kind of panicking right now since i got a lot of damage on his uh, on his right side and uh, that's why he wants to kind of redeem himself but it is not gonna work out buddy unfortunately it's all over for you i'm gonna even play runners i'm gonna actually play runners after the twin spot right now there we go i'm gonna get the fifth as well <clears throat> and yeah, that's gonna be the ending of this game so many quick ones i'm gonna probably play two more games or one if that's gonna be like full uh, overtime game let's see what we got gg well played thanks for four and let's jump to the next one 
And right now we're gonna be playing against King Cobra who has 878 melts, which is barely enough to be considered a top 50 player as for now. And at the same time he's gonna be playing uh, probably his flag deck which is like Dark Knight with a Fon Kang and right now he pretty much probably other terrorists or bomb blasters, however you wanna call it. They were called terrorists, they were called suicide, which is apparently a bad word on YouTube, but I don't care because I'm not monetized anyway. So here we go, a little rant uh, about a freedom of a speech. So he's gonna be playing actually mega, uh, mega dark knight. I'm gonna go with uh, <coughs> Heal Tiny, I can actually miss this Fon Kek, which is very nice play out of him. Because I was just trying to get to my uh, thingies. Uh, 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 heal tiny. And that's why I kinda messed up the placement on the footman kick. I should be more uh, focused, but I wasn't, and that's gonna kinda cost me right here. So King Orba will take the advantage, but and I actually don't know his spell. It's certainly not a missile. So I think I can take the risk, but at the same time, I would love to be safe. I'm gonna play a Mana Collector here, since I think, okay, he's having an Earthquake. So that's gonna be beautiful. I've already taken a minus one, and he's gonna be in the process of setting up a very nasty push. So I'm gonna play actually three Gunners. Let's see if he's gonna hammer his way very strongly into me. I'm gonna play Twins on the one side. Uh, just to force something out. He's gonna actually respond pretty maturely to that. I would love to get a heal on this footman, but I don't think that's the case. Yeah, there we go. He gets a very nice cleanup of this push. I only get one gunner shot out of it, and my runners will be damaged as well. He's going for the same trick once again, but yeah, I ain't feeling for that twice. He's gonna be having an earthquake, so that's gonna be a tough one. <coughs> Let me tell you that much. I'm gonna go for another three gunners. Let's try to get this one going. Let's predict the ghost against his bone blasters because it's the play he went for last time. And I didn't I, I predicted that he's gonna repeat it again. So I'm gonna actually play the fifth here. He gets a very nice hunt against my twins once again, and he's gonna actually get a fall hut. So very tough position for me because I don't have spells to break through. And he has the only spell spell that he needs, which is an earthquake to cancel out my uh, <coughs> uh, to cancel out my uh, mana collector, which is very crucial in this matchup, I would say. Okay, he's gonna probably play a fall heart on this. Okay, he's gonna play uh, 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 fall heart. That's the thing. I'm gonna play Twins on the uh, same lane as he's pushing. Let's try to get something going. I'm gonna play Ghost and basically right now I gotta just spam one of the lanes. I'm gonna spam a bit on the on the right side. I'm gonna try to get something and finally my push breaks loose. So that's gonna be a very nice win and very not convincing but very nice comeback to end this video. I think that's the good way. To end this stuff because this game was close and uh, to be frank honest he had a counter but we've managed to persevere and uh, very nice play by king cobra so yeah that's gonna be it for today let me know if my hypothesis is correct uh, if i'm getting like more views by uh, posting three gunner videos and if you have an idea why let me know in the comments down below and yeah without further without further ado Thanks for watching this video, make sure to subscribe if you aren't already and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Marina.